Hey guys, I want to show you a crazy new legendary farming method. This is for Borderlands 3 and inside DLC 3 Bounty of Blood. You're basically going to be robbing the bank in the town of Vestige of legendaries over and over again without having to restart your game. And then you're going to be collecting them here from this lost and found machine. I believe this is the first time we've seen an additional lost and found machine. There's one on Sanctuary, but now for DLC 3, they've put one inside of the saloon. So you can do this at the very start of DLC 3. Once you get into Vestige, you'll come to the center of the town and then you're going to head over to the bank. There's a giant bank vault in here that you loot at the end of the DLC after you've completed all of the story missions, but there's a way to loot it before the end of the DLC, which is the best way because you get legendaries every time you open these chests and then you don't have to restart your game. You just walk over and collect them from the lost and found. At the end of the DLC, you'll collect a key to open this door and go in and loot the chest, but that's not what you want to do. I'll show you guys how you can get into this room and open up all the chests and then have what will be mostly legendary items spawn into the lost and found machine so you can easily pick them up. This is using a photo mode glitch and huge shout out to Waza. He emailed me about this and let me know this trick that he found and yeah, this is pretty awesome. So to get into this room and open all the chests, you want to stand with your back up against those bars, then move forward just slightly and then jump in the air and open your menu that will allow you to go down to photo mode and then select it. That will push the camera back and through those bars and now you have access to opening all of these chests. The way you open them is a split second after you exit photo mode. So down on the bottom right, you can see that it wants me to hit B to close and get out of photo mode. And right after I do that, I'm going to hit X to open these cabinets. Your buttons are going to be different based on what console you're on. But right here, I can open both of these Jacob cabinets with one swoop. Right as you hit exit photo mode, it's going to take the camera back into first person. So it's going to be flying across the room and going back to your character. So I can open both of these chests with one swoop. So I go to the right of the one on the right and as you can see right here I've exited photo mode and you can see the use button come up and you just hit X twice and it will open both of those. For the other three chests you're gonna have to go in one at a time but you can see right there yeah I just opened both of those and both of them produce legendary. So same thing go up against the back of the bars move forward a little and then go into photo mode it will push you through into the room. Same thing go over and hover above this chest, exit photo mode, and for a split second, you'll see the use button. You can hit X and it will open. I'll finish doing it for the other two. And for the middle chest, this allows you to farm the new Dakota shotgun that is fully automatic. It's pretty awesome. And I'm working on a really good build for this one. At the end of the DLC, you open this to get the Dakota and you only get one of them, but this method allows you to farm it over and over again. So you can pick and choose which anointment you like. So once you have all of these open, I've seen some people go back in here and actually pick up the weapon, but I found that really tricky and tedious and time consuming. There's a much easier way to pick up all of these weapons. You want to send them over to the lost and found. And the way you do that is open up your menu and go into mayhem mode and then change the modifiers and re-roll them. And once you do, you want to apply them and then say yes. And that's gonna actually reset the map for you. And that's gonna do two things. It's gonna put all of those legendaries and everything that was in those chests into the lost and found, into the bar area. And it's also gonna reset all of those chests so you can just walk back in and repeat the method. These chests are special where you're going to get legendary about 95% of the time. And also when you come over here to pick them up out of the lost and found, it duplicates all of them twice. So say you got four legendary when you walked into the bank vault. Well, over here, you're going to have eight. It's going to duplicate each of them. Also, the type of legendary it produces is only base game legendary. There's no DLC within these except for the Dakota, which is the final reward item. But the good news is that you can set this to Mayhem 10 and get Mayhem 10 legendary with all kinds of different anointments. I'll show you guys right here. I just collected all of the loot from the lost and found and I'm going back into the bank vault. It is completely reset. Once I open this door, all of the chest will be closed and I can go in, do the photo mode glitch, and open them all again. They're all going to be new types of legendary, and then go back to the lost and found and keep collecting them. This is a great method for console players because for them, it takes a long time to get through the loading screens of restarting the entire game. But with this, you just go into the mayhem mode, reset the modifiers, and it resets everything. Again, you can come in here and farm these chests at the very beginning of the DLC. You don't have to have any missions completed, but if you are close to completing this mission, there is another 
other way to farm this room. It's gonna be on the final story mission called Riding to Ruin. They want you to go to the plaza in Vestige and talk to Juno. Right here you'll see the credits roll for the end of the game and she's gonna give you a key and want you to go collect the bounty that's inside that bank vault. So to set this up so that you can keep farming these chests, you want to go into the bank, go ahead and open the big vault door and then go ahead and open the locked door and you can open all of the chests. That's not a problem. But what you don't want to do is destroy all of the money crates that are laying on the ground that are glowing red. If you leave at least one of those, then you're going to be able to open the two tall Jacob's lockers over and over again. Once you open that center chest, that's going to be gone. That Jacob's chest will be gone and so will that one. But these two tall Jacob's cabinets will respawn over and over again and they will give you mostly legendary. So right here, I'm going to break most of these cash crates, but again, just leave one of them. If you destroy all of them and open all the crates, then it's going to complete this mission and that's what you don't want. If you complete this mission, then all of the chests and even those lockers will be removed from this room. So right here, I'm just going to leave this one and it might be better just to leave more than one just for safety in case you accidentally do break one or two. Right here, I'm going to restart the game. It's going to spawn you back at the saloon, which is not too far away. You can run back in here. This door is going to be open. You can see that one cash crate left and the two tall lockers will still be there. And a big shout out to Cameron. He emailed me about this trick and this could be helpful for people that are close to the end of the DLC and don't want to have to mess with photo mode. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.